think hip replacement is only for someone in their 70s or 80s, a lot of baby boomers are experiencing hip problems. You're about to meet a middle-aged cyclist who thought he was too young and too active to need hip replacement until the arthritis set in. Lake Merritt, Oakland, California. For years, it's been an urban outdoor playground for this man, attorney David Rowe. Well, I've always tried to get exercise, uh, stay in shape different ways, running, biking. Exercise is an understatement. This cycling aficionado practically lives on his bike and almost nothing can pry him off, except arthritis. If I were sitting still for a long time and then I went to get up, I'd feel like an old man. First, the pain crept up David's back. Then it radiated down his left leg. Now every movement brings one word to mind. Ouch! I realized, gee, this, is, this isn't good. <laughs> At Sutter Health's Ultibate Summit Medical Center, orthopedic surgeon George Pugh sees patients as young as their early 40s whose hips have worn out. This is a model of the right hip. So on me, this would be right here. And this is where the articular cartilage gets worn away. And once you've lost the articular cartilage of your hip, this is when it really starts to hurt with every step. Think of it this way. Just like the tires bear the full weight of your car, your hip bears the full weight of your body, and then some. When you walk, you uh, lift up one leg to take a step. The leg that you're standing on is not seeing just your body weight. It's seen somewhere between four and five times body weight. If you're overweight or born with even a small hip malformation, or in David's case, if you're super active, the tread on your tires can wear out, and that's excruciating, even for a guy with a pretty high pain threshold. Slowly, I just had to taper off and off and eventually down to nothing. When that cushion of cartilage wears out, the hip bone rubs and grates right against the thigh bone and cuts off its blood supply. The bone is living. Most people think of it like a concrete or steel pillar, but no, it's very living. Uh, and if you fall down and break a bone, it's very painful. We're going to put the metal ball on top, and then we're going to assemble uh, the hip together. So when you go and ride your bike, this is what's going to happen. For David, anti-inflammatory medications haven't helped. His hip needs a retread, so to speak, a total hip replacement. It's a structural issue. Once I knew it wasn't going to get better until I did something about it, the next step was pretty obvious. So if I'm biking, if I'm, if I'm doing this, then this, this is doing is this. Right. Yep. In, okay. In the old days, we would go through the back and cut through the buttock muscles. Today, we would come in from the front, spread your muscles apart, put the components in. Smaller incisions, less trauma to the body, total hip replacement techniques have come a long way in the past decade. So has the hardware, which used to be made of plastic. Now the plastic was very special medical plastic, but nonetheless it was plastic. And plastic is plastic, it wears. The old artificial hips used to last 15 years tops, but these new ceramic and metal parts can really go the distance. We're going to take tools and mill out the inside of the bone so that it will very precisely fit the prosthesis. Dr. Pugh implants a metal cup into the worn out pelvic bone and lets the body's own muscles pull both halves of the new hip together. With this new technique, I can give patients a hip that will last them for the rest of their life. Recovery, I was amazed. I was walking without crutches, carefully, but walking without crutches the same week of my surgery. The quick recovery is attractive to baby boomers as well as the 65 plus crowd. 60 today is the old 50 and we have people playing tennis and skiing that are 70 and uh, uh, we're simply more active. The new hip joint is so pain free, David forgets it's even there. There's only one time that I know I have metal parts in my hip and that's in an airport because it does set off the metal detector. <laughs> Now David can really push it. Now what I do is I bike up the hills because it's more exercise for less time. It's great to be back. <laughs>